Now we'll pull the recoil starter and then we'll pull the stator and the flywheel. These bolts here are a 3 8 and why they switched to a, a metric is beyond me, but or a standard. Alright, once we get those pulled out. This will come out. You can use a rubber mallet. Makeshift handle they did there. Go ahead and tap on it. It'll break that seal. This seal here. And uh, pull starter works good. The way this pull starter works, you pull this rope and this arm will um, pop out there. Spring loaded. And it'll catch on your flywheel here on these grooves and turn your whole motor. And so that'll you build up compression that way, and that's that's the way a pull starter works. This is your flywheel here, and we will go ahead and pull that flywheel. Got a seven eighths nut on here, regular threads. I go ahead and pull the the washer too, and then what I do is put this nut back on there. And I'll show you why in a second. Just run it until it's flush with that. And then we've got our flywheel our puller here. Looks like that. We've got three bolts here. Spin that on there. And the reason why we put that nut on there is because you've got a a pin like there, a, a cap like this pushing against it, you never want that to damage that crank. So if you've got that nut on there, that'll kind of hold everything together. If this pin slides off to one side, uh, you still get that nut on there kind of protecting that. So go ahead and put these in. You want to make sure these are um, threaded in oh, most of the way. So you're talking quarter inch or maybe a little bit more in. I'd probably say closer to a half inch, you're not going to damage anything. And you want to make sure they're in there, that half inch, so that you don't pull these threads out. Because you'll have quite a bit of force, depending on if this has ever been apart before, you'll have quite a bit of pressure pulling those up. All right, and then you spin this down. Just remember you've got that nut on there, so it'll just pop off, and then you can. Once it pops off, then it's free. And you can, you can take everything apart, and it'll just slide right off of there. It's a tapered crankshaft, and then that flywheel is tapered as well. And that's what keeps it on there. And then there's also a keeper. There we go. Flywheel is pulled. And it's magnetized, so in mind it'll be a little bit of a challenge to pull it off of there but that's what your flywheel looks like we've got your stator in behind there and then we've got a keeper here I like to take it especially if you're splitting that crank shaft well if you the only reason you do it is if you're splitting that crank case pull this pin off of there sometimes that'll hold you up a lot, a lot of times it won't it's turned the right direction but you never want this hitting against those bearings. So go ahead and pull that. I put that with the flywheel. And we've got Phillips screws, three Phillips screws holding this plate on. And then the wire's running out here. So these look like they've been done before. Don't look like they're in very good shape. So we're gonna use this impact driver. Oh, actually they weren't even that tight. 
one hit with an impact driver and a lot of times that will take care of it. Alright, your stator plate is off. You can replace just the coils there if you want to. Most people, if you're getting an aftermarket, which I'd suggest somebody like Rick's, um, you want to pick a main, a name brand manufacturer if you're getting them aftermarket. You don't want knockoff Chinese junk. Knock off anything, it doesn't have to be Chinese in general, but There's your stator there. And then this is your starter drive. So when your starter engages, what it does is turns this and it'll spin this fast enough to slide this out. It grabs the fly flywheel and turns that motor over. So that gear there, sometimes these won't slide back in. So if you're, if it feels, sounds like your um, starter is always engaged, what happens is it starts your four-wheeler and then it stays stuck out and it continues to keep your starter engaged. So you want to be careful that spring in there goes bad. Sometimes it gets water in there, debris, and it'll hold that open and um, end up ruining your starter that way. So we'll go ahead 